blocks. Blocks never change. From my early days of Minecraft 1.7 wherein I built an entire castle out of cobblestone, to my current skill level today, one thing stays the same. Blocks. Blocks never change. So come with me on a journey and ponder the question. Can I become a better builder? Hello, Minecrafters and Redstoners. How y'all doing? I'm the Tannis Lycans, and today we're going to start off with saying uh, I've been kind of away working on different projects. We got a couple of secret squirrel things I'm working on. Uh, one of them is not that big, it's just way out that direction. And today, what I'd like to do, being that we're over here in our sheep farm, is work on a couple of builds. So, first one we are going to work on is, I want to get the tree farms covered. So we're going to make one massive sawmill on top of this one. And then I want to come over here and uh, finally finish the build for the uh, sheep farm. So hopefully we can get both of those done in one episode. Uh, I don't know about final details like decorations and everything, but I at least would like to get the builds around this so that we actually start showing some progress on building this whole area up and trying to make a, a village. So with that, the sun's going down, perfect. Uh, let's get into a montage of me collecting materials for all this, and then uh, we'll do some time lapses of buildings, and I'll see you guys when I'm done.
hope you enjoyed that little montage of me collecting various blocks that we're going to use to build up our uh, tree farm. So between clips I have done a little bit of work here. We've gotten kind of a path going on around everything and getting me to places that I need to go. It's still a work in progress so yeah right now it's just all stone eventually i'm going to texture this and uh, figure out what i actually want to do for the floor in the meantime um this pnt powered farm has been a giant pain in my butt <laughs> so let's, let's talk about this thing for a minute so first off um what happened the other day is I was over here doing all this stone and a creeper blew up part of this circuit here so I had to rebuild that and give it a few tests make sure it worked fine and it does it was kind of aggravating that that happened but you know things happen uh, and this if we like peek in here so the TNT is supposed to land right there on that obsidian block now I've rearranged this a little bit so that some of the problems I was having don't happen anymore but the thing that was happening is twofold first off the TNT would sometimes fall off to the sides so I've had to come up with a way of preventing that and if we go up here this is kind of what I dreamt up for the warp tree farm I had to change it a little bit. As you can see, that one's pretty much the same as this. Uh, but basically all we got is a little water trap here. The TNT falls in. The TNT then gets pushed along here and falls and hopefully falls directly on that obsidian. So far I haven't had any issues with the remodel. So the reason these obsidian blocks are here is because the TNT would occasionally on this one and only this one that one over there never had this issue the TNT would occasionally fall in such a way that instead of falling through the hole it would just fall to a certain point and then just constantly get pushed here and eventually blow up and blow up the uh, TNT machine yeah that took me a while to figure out how to counteract that. I actually tried to reach out to a much bigger YouTuber that has, you know, uh, redstone people behind him, and uh, I never did hear back, so I had to come up with a solution on my own, which is fine. You know, they're busy. <laughs> I don't expect them to answer my little questions. I gotta figure this stuff out for myself, so. But this is eventually what I came up with, just putting these TNT blocks there. And now what happens is the TNT may land over here on this side, or it may land over here and then fall in the hole. But yeah, that was causing me a lot of frustrations. I, within the last five days, have rebuilt this TNT thing like six, seven times. It has been a major pain in the butt. So with that being said, I, I think um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put out this video. You know, get everything sliced together and just go ahead and put it out because this has been a major pain. And I'm not even done yet. And uh. You, you know, hopefully we'll get that out probably by the end of the week. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I have gone through and done a few other things. Like, we've got a sorting system here for the three types of wood that this sort of works for. I mean, <laughs> it's still got problems when it comes to uh, oak trees. Like, occasionally a a big oak tree will spawn and there'll be like a wood block like say right here which will break some of the uh, uh, leaf breakers so not much I can do about that I don't think there's any way to prevent it either I've tried 
multiple ways to prevent that and it still happens so not going to be able to fix that so this is not going to work for uh, acacia trees what in the world I don't remember planting that many that close together maybe I did I don't remember but yeah so we got the sorting system here we have spruce logs going here we have birch logs over here and then we got oak right in the front uh, I'm probably gonna spend a little bit of time trying to get all these barrels full and I still need to do the same thing over here at the warp tree farm uh, I'm thinking right in here we're gonna do this and uh, it's gonna have to be slightly different because and I actually need to fix this. The warp tree farm has a slightly different issue. And that is, you know, we'll get the warp wood, but occasionally we'll get uh, warp wart blocks and shroom lights. So I'm going to have to put a small sorting piece in there for that. And I think as far as this mess is concerned, we're going to kind of keep that. Um, my plan for now is right about here maybe we're gonna build a uh, staircase i'll just use these blocks as, as an example we're gonna build a staircase going up to this and then around it until we reach the top and that'll be the way i get up to the top of this thing and be able to harvest all these blocks uh, unfortunately with how warp wood and crimson wood trees work there's not a lot I could do about that <laughs> especially in this kind of design that I've made and uh, we've also got this problem I don't know how to solve it I tried multiple ways to try and solve this issue and it uh it still happens so that's where we're at on the tree farms and uh, hopefully in, hopefully in the next episode I'll actually get around to building what I have planned partially. I know what blocks I want to use for the building around this. Uh, as far as the shape, um, well just based on these two enormous structures, yeah the shape is gonna be kind of funky. We're gonna try some things with that. Um, and I just had a thought too, what if I had two smoke stacks raising up here and there? This one's probably going to have to be a little bit bigger because of the redstone for that. I had to do... I wanted to try and do this redstone differently. And I remember uh, hearing from a, a redstone YouTuber that if you do this, uh, the signal never gets lost. Um, it seems like a little bit of a lie because... Uh, I can't get up there but right about there and right about there is where the signal does degrade enough that it doesn't go all the way up so let me go to sleep I should have started a little bit later on this but um uh, no you know what we are just gonna end right there I changed my mind uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, we'll get back to building in the next episode so thank you very much and I'll see you then Bye.